Hello viewer and welcome to the e-learning classroom. So today we want to look at the pulleys. We have uh, the systems of pulley here. Uh, this one has four pulleys and then we have one, we have two and we have one which can also be combined uh, with this other one here. So we want to see how these pulleys work. So maybe we can start with this one. So we have uh, this the lot and then we have the airport here you can see how it makes the work easier so this one has a velocity ratio of one which is the the string that is directly uh, carrying the load so we have one uh, the velocity ratio here is only one which is the the number of strings that are directly carrying the load in other words when the effort moves down by maybe one centimeter, then the load will also move up by one centimeter. So you can see that. So and for that we can also consider for that we can also consider this other one here. So for this one here, we have a pulley here. Uh, we have a pulley here down here, and then we have the load. Under the pulley, we have a lot there. So let's see. So this is what we have now. This is what we have. So if you compare this one with this other one here, you realize now this one is still a single uh, movable. Uh, this is a, a, a single movable pulley. This one is a single fixed pulley but you realize that the two strings are carrying the load directly that means the velocity ratio of this one is two unlike this one which has a velocity ratio of one because only one pulley here is carrying the only one string here is carrying the load but this one we have two strings which are directly carrying the load remember we can also combine this one with other this other pulley here to change the direction of the effort so we can also let's see how we combine with this one so we have this other pulley here we want to combine uh, this pulley uh, the, the, the essence of this second pulley here is just to, to change the direction of the effort whereby now we want the effort to be applied down once like initially when we are applying on the upper side so that means we have uh, let's see what we have here uh, let's see what we have there can fix this string yes like that so we have uh, fixed that string now so you can see this one now so this one has a, a velocity ratio still of two. Uh, what we have done is only that we have changed the direction of the effort, whereby now we are applying the effort downwards. Initially we were lifting here, uh, whereby now we are applying the effort uh, upwards. But now we have so this one is still a single uh, movable pulley because uh, the essence of the second pulley is just to change. The direction of the effort so we can also consider that the other sets maybe this one I can fix it here let me just fix this one here might use it uh, later so let that one stay there we also have this other set here this one is still a single movable pulley but for this case we have this pulley is movable this one is fixed uh, the velocity ratio here is 2. We have this string and this string which are directly carrying the load. So those are two, two pulleys. So we have two there. Then last three, last three we have this other one here. This one has four pulleys. This one is a block and tackle. Uh, we have uh, two fixed uh, pulleys and two movable pulleys. Remember the string is starting from here. It is fixed here then through the first pulley through the first pulley on the upper side through the second pulley and through the second pulley on the upper side so for this uh, the system will be moving like this uh, 
hope you're able to see that. So, uh, let me... So this system is able to move like that. You can see that. And the velocity ratio here is 4. Uh, you can see that, viewers. Uh, let me return this one here. You can see that. Remember, place I used to make work easier. For example, when you want to lift the, when you want to, for example, when you want to lift cement from the ground floor, maybe to the upper floor, you can use a pulley to make that work easier. So these are the systems of pulleys we have. This one has a velocity ratio of 4 because we have 1, 2, 3, 4. These are 4 strings which are carrying the load directly. So uh, viewers, it's important to know that uh, when you are working with a pulley, you just need to know how many strings are directly carrying the load and that becomes the, the velocity ratio of your pulley just by counting the number of strings that are directly carrying the load. So, for example, you have said this one has only a velocity ratio of 1 because only this string is calling the load directly. So, that is 1. You can see that. And then you have said this one has 2 because if you look at the number of strings that are directly calling the load, we have this one and this one. So, we have the 2. Essentially, also, it's important to note that when the effort moves two meters, then the load will have moved one meter. So that's another essence of understanding the velocity ratio. Then we also have this one here, whereby we have seen this one as a velocity ratio of two. We have seen this one as a velocity ratio of two, and the two is, uh, we are counting this string and this string. We have seen this other pulley here is just used to, 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 to change. The direction of the effort. Then lastly, we have also mentioned something on these pulleys. Uh, this one is a single fixed pulley, single movable because of this movable. This one is also single movable. This one is block and tackle. And for the block and tackle, we have uh, two fixed and two movable pulleys. So the velocity ratio here is four because we have one, two, three, four, four strings that are calling the load. And you can see the pulley system working like that. You can see the pulley belt working like that, viewers. So that is uh, all about the pulleys. Maybe we can... So viewers, uh, for the diagram, so we have uh, a, bell, a pulley with the velocity ratio of 1. That is uh, one uh, which has one string that is directly calling the load. Then we have a pulley with a velocity ratio 2. That is uh, two strings that are directly calling uh, the load. Then we also have two strings again calling the load. So velocity ratio 2. Then we have uh, three for three strings calling the load. Four, velocity ratio 4. And then velocity ratio 5. There is a block and tackle and then uh, we also have velocity ratio 2 for the blue uh, colored ones uh, the second pulley is just used to change uh, the direction of the effort that means uh, uh, the last uh, this pulley is similar to the uh, to, is to the second pulley then we have velocity ratio 3 again uh, we have three strings calling the load so the sec the fourth pulley is just used to change uh, the direction of the effort so on that marks the end of uh, today's session uh, let's see you in the next uh, video